I haven't used toothpaste in a little more than six months. And I'm not going back. Here's why. I was like the majority of folks when it came to their dental hygiene approach. I've been there before. I'll put up some pictures if I can find them. My bottom row of teeth were crowded. That was a little insecurity for me. It didn't really manifest in my later years because I had gotten braces by then. Um, after my braces, I got retainers. And then eventually, and I made a YouTube video about this one, I got my wisdom teeth removed. We may just view that as normal nowadays. But that's, that couldn't be further from the truth. Everybody's got to get their wisdom teeth removed because they're growing in incorrectly. For a lot of us, it is going to grow in incorrectly. And what does it say about the environment that we're living in or the lifestyle that we're living? A lot of people have chased teeth whitening and a lot of us have gotten braces just so we can get a perfect smile. I'm no different than y'all. <laughs> Average American raised in a suburban neighborhood. That was my dental hygiene story. And then I did my research. I'm gonna preface the following with this. I truly think that our body is artwork. Not that we should worship it, but that it's just a testament to God's greatness. And so I dive deep into the study of the body just to see what God has done. So I listen to a lot of health podcasts. And Paul Saladino, uh, Carnivore MD, was one of the few podcasts that I used to listen to. I don't listen to it as much anymore because I do think that food is important. Not to say that the way we eat doesn't have consequences, because it does, but it may not be important or maybe less important than some other things. I'm being challenged by the notion that light, water, and magnetism are more important than those things. But anyway, I remember listening to one of his episodes and he slipped in a little sentence in between his monologue. And he said, by the way, tooth toothpaste is a scam. Just, just don't buy it. I'm one of those type of people who's willing to give crazy a shot. Um, I think more of us should be willing to give crazy a shot because I wouldn't really dismiss anything that's plausible because if it's an ideology, then it's got to be dismantled. You know what I'm saying? So how about instead of just ignoring crazy, you go ahead, you go down the rabbit hole, you poke as many holes in that theory as you can, or as many holes in whatever someone is saying is fact. And then you can find out whether it's solid or not. And if it's solid, maybe you should apply it to your life. And Paul Saladino wasn't the only one. I've listened to several different people on on podcasts who were in the health sphere, who were either like PhDs or MDs, but most importantly, scientists that were involved uh, in oral health. And the things that I was hearing from them kind of sounded similar, like, I don't use toothpaste, it's useless. I don't know why I would use it. I also stumbled across this dude's channel named Dr. Mike Mew. He kind of blew up my whole paradigm when it comes to braces and wisdom teeth removal and things of that sort. Also, the book Breath by James Nestor also kind of blew up that paradigm. Maybe we shouldn't strive to have our wisdom teeth removed and. If they're getting removed, then there's something, there's something we've done wrong. There's also another doctor that I listen to, Dr. Jack Cruz, and he's led me to also believe that this has something to do with our circadian biology. I wouldn't be surprised. So I'm receiving all this research, and then, you know what? I decided to try it out for myself. I only brushed my teeth with water, and I flossed, and I did that for six months. I brushed it once in the morning, once at night, and that was it. Six months ago, before I started this journey, no matter how many times I brushed my teeth, I would come to the dentist with staining. I was meticulous about this stuff. Like every day and night, I was flossing, making sure I was getting everything out of there, and I was brushing extra long with the toothpaste in my mouth. And still, without fail, I was going to the dentist and I was getting staining on my teeth. And that was pretty much commonplace for all my subsequent visits until this most recent visit. When I went to the dentist, there wasn't any staining on my teeth. My teeth started feeling smoother about two months in. And the yellowness has been there since childhood, particularly on this tooth over here. I believe that that's because of how many uh, steroids I took because I was chronically sick as a child, which there are multiple reasons for, but we'll get into that in another video. In a sense, my tooth health is better ever since I dropped toothpaste. I'm gonna just conclude with this. I don't think that God's creation is so shoddy that we would need to put paste in our mouth just so our teeth don't decay. I think that would be some slipshod handiwork, and that's not my God. <laughs> and everything that I've told you in this video is truth, no lies. So if you don't believe me, try it for yourself. And when you try it for yourself, make sure you're getting some sun and make sure that you're grounding. But here's the thing, man, everything in this world decays. Your tooth decays, 
your body decays. You know, you get old. But you know what doesn't decay? Salvation in Christ Jesus. Even though everything of this world fades away, and at the end of the day, the arrangement of your teeth isn't going to matter in the face of eternity. For those who are in Christ Jesus, they have an eternal reward afterwards. So really, they shouldn't care too much about what they lose in this lifetime because they're gaining so much more afterwards. So if you don't know Jesus today, I urge you, my brother, my sister, put your faith in Jesus today. He's calling you. He loves you. He undeservingly loves you. And he wants you to come home. Trust in Jesus. Put your faith in Jesus. Fight for your soul. Pray for your soul. Do the same for others. In Jesus' name.